Throughout history, particular cities have played a, a very important role. Athens, Jerusalem, Rome, London, Philadelphia. And you can kind of mark the great stages of history and the great developments of human liberty by those places. The American place that was created as a result of what happened in Philadelphia is Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is where the action is. If you want to affect our federal government, this is where you have to be, and there are so many opportunities to make a change. I moved to Washington to change things, to improve and advance American government. This is where laws are made. This is where policy happens. It's a place that represents the idea of, um, of America and a capital of one of the greatest countries in the world, in, in history. And this is the place to change the country. Graduate programs in Washington, D.C. are about a dime a dozen. There are lots of them. And most of them teach you to accommodate yourself to the status quo, how Washington works today. We want to do something different. We want to teach you how to think so you know those first principles and you're able to have good judgment and deliberate and take action. These days, culture tells us to react, to respond, and it's all based on feeling, based on hype. I want the change I am part of to be substantive and to be thoughtful, and there has to be a grounding. What's missing in a lot of politics today is we tend to have one or the other. We have a lot of people that want to talk about first principles, and of course, we have a lot of people that want to focus just on action. It's connecting the two that's the virtue of statesmanship. Education is about more than just turning out good workers. It should be about turning out good citizens as well. The next generation of Americans who understand the timeless principles of our government. And unfortunately, too many schools, and especially universities, not only fail in that mission, but they actively repudiate that mission. Young people who come to this town don't have that founding understanding of, of how government should be and how it will best operate. So I'm excited about learning the larger story and how to incorporate the wisdom of people who came before us into a very fraught culture right now. This graduate school was inspired by George Washington to teach the things, the large things, that a statesman would need to know to govern this country well. We're going to look at core documents, original documents. Um, we're going to study the writings and thoughts of great statesmen and great books. And it will mostly be taken by people who work in the government. And they will read old books. They'll start with Plato and Aristotle. Herodotus and Thucydides, and they'll learn what politics is, and then they'll learn what America is. I think this program is unique because it marries political thought and philosophy and wisdom from the ancients with governance and statesmanship where we are now. There's a reason why people study old texts. They've proven their value, but they're also rigorous, and so you really can't, you can't dumb them down. We want to study that now, not because it's the past. We want to study it because the past will help us now to shape the future. What the Van Andel Graduate School of Government wants to do is help you see the North Star, because if you don't have that, why are you involved in politics? What excites me most about teaching here, I think would have to be the opportunity at what Socrates called protreptic, the turning of souls. I really think that this school of government and this curriculum and these teachers, 
this place, this town, you can actually turn people towards a life of deep and prudent service if you give them the right principles and you give them the right tools. We are in many ways in a crisis today about who should govern. Are we still a self-governing people? The role of Congress versus the President, the Supreme Court, uh, consent. These are the core questions that actually go back to the very founding itself. And as an extension of our teaching mission, it's only natural that we are going to teach those ideas which we've taught from the very beginning here in this city to all those who wish to perpetuate liberty in today's world. We want to live freely. That's not so easy these days, right? We do huge things. We don't take any money from the government. For it. Why? Because we think it's of eternal value. And we think we have a right to it. And so we need a free government to let us do that. There will be many difficult and prudent decisions required to recover a stronger sense of self-government and, and limited government and constitutional government. It's going to take some time, but we need to prepare now to shape those people who will do that. It's not too late. I want to see the next generation of American statesmen prepared to face those challenges should they come. And the lessons they learn are being taken out of the classroom at Hillsdale and are being taken into the halls of Congress and into the administration and into the courts. The greatest thing that the Van Andel Graduate School of Government in Washington, D.C. can accomplish is to form a core of individuals who have the knowledge and the determination, the good sense and the prudence going out into the world in order to turn it, to turn it back to its principled course uh, for the good of preserving self-government. Forming those kinds of individuals, statesmen, and being able to teach them and see them formed uh, would be the, uh, the greatest accomplishment and for the good of our country.